rooks in the center of the board shall we just move the king queen here so it feels hard now coming back into a longer play game after i played those um a lot of short games and even the rapid games i'm classing as short games so i played a load of them i'm gonna see if i sneak through here sometimes they do forget oh, well not this time okay he saw that one coming a mile off didn't he okay let's bring this rug here yeah so it's quite sometimes quite hard to come back into a long play game so i want to get back into playing the long games again getting the long range strategies going the planning all the good stuff opponents taking the time as well so we can chill and relax and ordinarily when I'm playing like um, if I'm playing a, a congress match I I do like to really take my time even more so in them it can be annoying to the opponents but you know if they're wanting to finish the game early and stuff we're looking to tantalize here because nothing's happened here so we're going to just touch onto this pawn and see what he wants to do and now his rooks facing here we potentially are coming here pawn drops here we can always drop back again is it better for the knight going there i don't think so on this occasion let's go here drops down for a simple small piece attacking a higher piece we can simply drop back don't want to drop a um, block our dark square bishop don't really want to go all the way back blocking the rooks linked up situation yeah okay so we do have options of this but the bishop just basically protects so we're just going to drop here problem we've got now is he's got a two on one here so he'll gladly take this pawn now attacking the queen yeah so we've given up a pawn in that situation now they're moving really fast and that might be to their detriment so all we're going to do is simply place the bishop here looking for a stealthy diagonal towards their king ready to take with the rook but i don't think he's going to give the rook up i think he's going to go back now that he's slowed down he's got an extra pawn but has it improved their position ah, he's gone all the way back what did i say so going to take taking it nice and easy no panic moves here just bring the rook across just because we've um, lost the pawn doesn't mean we've lost the game it looks like I feel like I've improved my position because there's, they've lost tempo going backwards defending readjusting the queen so those smallest of tempi are probably worth a pawn in my eyes You, might, you won't be able to see it straight away, I can feel it, you know, they'll still be able to develop their pieces, etc. So he's blocking with the bishop, could attack the bishop now, because if the bishop takes, then we just take the queen off the board. So we're going to take the bishop off. The smallest of tempi is what we've won. It's tempting to go here, he just simply drops the pawn. It's tempting to go here simply drops the pawn knight can jump in here so let's go with that one because it gives the knight something more proactive to do and that loss in tempo is preventing his pieces from getting developed at the moment queen can drop down just to attack the knight obviously knight has a troublesome square here but it's not trouble trouble but you know it's um something so now it's um, covering off this square and it's covering off this square how do we develop towards that if the queen wasn't there we'd be looking at trying to squeeze in here to get to here so now his knight has got the tempo to actually get developed so we could attack the queen 
because it's only a pawn that they're up at the minute I believe they would simply drop but then we can't take advantage of this square but it looks nice let's go here it's ready to take because it's a pawn up it probably will take because it's a higher piece but our pieces are developed nicely enough in order for a smallest of tempe to put pressure on any extra pawns that they may have it's just a general feel it doesn't look like he's exchanging now looks like he's um, wanting to keep his queen on the board aha uh -huh, let's go here this pawn has to drop straight away but then this pawn will be taken so it's potentially looking to come here to protect with the rook so making his pieces oh either that was a mouse slip or there's some method in the madness we'll take with a check on the rook oh and they've resigned oh dear okay so we'll take a quick look at this one nice long play game although it didn't feel long we were moving fairly swiftly but it gave time to talk through your moves and um good strategy win it smallest of wins in tempo I think was demonstrated there what well, for myself so let's have a look at um, oh I've blocked the bar under with my head there we go okay right so let's um, just look at what's what's happening Obviously the gauge bar is not going to be on our side when we lose the pawn, but again, you have to have that confidence in what you're actually doing, I think. It's harder in the shorter games. Um, we're practicing, we're trying to, you know, get up there in those skill levels with the short games. But to really appreciate the quality of games, longer games are the bag. And so we bring the queen across here. White's winning at the moment, so they bring their rook back. Okay, and obviously we don't feel they're winning. Where they've, the rook was in the centre of the board, they've had to move it back, so they're losing tempo in developing their pieces. Smallest of detail, and this pawn move here, I'm not too sure. It allowed us to break through the centre a little bit, just a tiny bit, just to touch on this pawn here. Now, at this stage here, obviously it's uh, it says oh, it's a draw minus point two, yeah. So we go back, and the queen moving back is only gone up point oh, uh, draw not point one. So it hasn't gone up much at all in any way shape. That's that is a non situation. Not point two plus because well. I can't speak for the um, eval bar, but I'm fairly happy that it's showing this because this is the type of thing we were talking about, is that um, even though they've got that extra pawn, is their position really to their benefit? Their rook is in the center of the board, big style, so it's losing tempi, but now the bishop move there is giving them a plus 1.6. So it's basically saying, no that wasn't the right move to make felt good to me and it wasn't a major impact i could see his pieces aren't developed anybody any human under threat is either going to take the rook or they're going to move the rook back he brought it back and we said well they're potentially losing the smallest attempt there so we gather gather it up queen takes go for the simple attack ah lovely okay so then we put pressure onto the bishop. Queen moves out of the way so we can take the bishop. And now we've got a plan of disturbing these pawns in the center, but really trying to improve the position on the board. So they push through, the knight can get activated. It's giving one, a plus 1.5 for white. Again, I didn't see it. I have my own theory, my own story to tell. And that was the fact that his knights, his knight and his rook aren't even in the game yet we're putting pressure towards the any advantage he's got with his extra pawn so it was a plus for us in my head anyway so they bring the queen down so then we move the knight to innocuous position 
and looking for sites of this but definitely looking for like a queen exchange type thing as well supporting that so it was a twofold maneuver and that's the like the, the potential value of the moves that we're looking at so we look to exchange the queen of and i've always said haven't i when evaluation if i go for a queen exchange it really doesn't like the queen exchanges at all it's very rare that it will be on my side if I'm going for a queen exchange. So they capture and gauge bar is giving them 3.5. So in essence, they should win. But then it goes to zero, well, minus point naught, minus point one, minus point two. So that's neither here nor there, but again, it's the smallest, tiniest of tempi that we were talking about in terms of that getting that actual win. I don't think, I think that was a mouse slip, you know, personally. Well, it might not have been a mouse slip, but they realized afterwards. Because I would have thought this would have been better. Yeah, it would have been 3.3. .3. So in our head, basically, we will be looking at this and saying, okay, we're leaning on this pawn here leaning on this pawn but we can't quite get to do what we need to do is there an option of pushing here he just pushes past so probably wouldn't do that and could push here could push here could just push there nice and steady so he would have to work in order to get these working for him if he did that so this is why that move that they did make was kind of erroneous because obviously the knight is going to be taking the pawn here it's not giving a great shake it's still showing as a draw here but i felt more confident that our position on the board um may have taken us through nice long game